Hey folks, this is Lyman again. This is part um, six, or s actually I forget. <laughs> How many have I recorded here? Yeah, this is part seven of the Monarch Student 35 Mehmed list play. And what I've done here, um, first of all, I'm going to just kind of sit here and, and talk a little bit about the state of affairs. What I've done is I've played a few turns between the last video and this one, simply because the game itself is going kind of slow up to this point, and I don't want to just sit here going turn after turn and boring boring you until I can get to a point where we can really start taking some action. Um, so I wanted to get horseback riding in which will now let me build elephants. So I can build elephants, but I probably want to build some stables first. Uh, and also um, just talk a little bit about what I've done up to this point, what I, maybe I could have done better, and, and just generally, you know, the overall state of affairs. I find doing, um, I, I've actually recorded a few of these videos, but the problem is I've recorded them way too long and was not able to up, upload them to YouTube, but I haven't done very many, and I'm still getting used to, really the most important thing is actually playing the game and talking and thinking about what I'm going to say at the same time. I, I, I can find an analogy sort of in when you drive a car and talk on a cell phone at the same time. When you do that, you are definitely not 100% focused on your driving. And same with recording a video, I feel like I'm not exactly 100% focused on the game itself and maybe doing the best things I should be doing. So, and I think I'll get, I think I'll get better at that. I mean, you look at guys like TMIT and Absolute Zero, when they record videos, they make it look pretty easy in almost second nature. Uh, TMIT, has, of course, has done a ton of them, uh, and he he's pretty he's pretty smooth when he does it, as far as what he what he does and keeping the game straight. Um, he plays pretty quickly too, and he I think he's just everything is second nature to him. But the bottom line is, I feel like I've probably done some things that aren't too good. I think I've done some good things as well. Right now I have eight cities, which is not bad. Um, Tech-wise, tech at least in terms of the AIs that are near me, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, they don't even have alpha yet, and I haven't bothered giving them alpha yet because uh, I, I really don't want them to improve their tech situation. Now, the fact is that, you know, Boudic and Gandhi aren't really friends anyway, um, so it's not like they're going to trade techs. Uh, and let's check espionage. I, it doesn't look like there's anyone on the other side of Boudicca that she's trading techs with, and it, and it shows. Uh, by the way, she just declared war on Gandhi, which kind of surprised me. I mean, obviously, I've been saying for a while now that I thought she should have declared war war on him by now. Uh, I, I, I was certain it was inevitable, but I don't recall seeing the red fist here before she did it. So I don't know, maybe it popped up the one turn before she, before she declared, but I was keeping an eye on that and I did not see it pop up, but yep, she just declared war on Gandhi. So that is I think a good thing. First of all, I didn't really have to bribe her into doing it, which is what I had planned to do anyway. Um, she may ask me into war here pretty soon. I'm not really ready for it, but I can begin to um, start churning out units. Uh, I just need to get, I want to get stables up in a couple of cities, probably here. And I'm, what I'm going to do here is whip this settler into, I want to get one more settler out, so I'll whip this into a stable and start producing elephants from here, from the capital, and maybe one of these cities. This city will probably just do catapults because it's not really high production. Um, I, will, I will be whipping fairly liberally. Um, but then going back to what I think I could have done better is with Mehmed, um, 
my economy has been in fairly good shape for the most part so I think I really should have expanded quicker and if I did I would have cities like this one here and this one here that I just settled would be able to contribute to the war effort whereas now they're still they're going to be focused on just getting getting up to speed although once I get this farm down and this fish set up um, I might be able to at least whip catapults from here. So bottom line is I don't necessarily think I've put myself in the best position to to get out an army quickly. Another thing is tech wise uh, I built an academy in my capital which is not such a bad play if I'm going more peaceful but probably considering that I was planning on attacking Gandhi at some point fairly early I could have prioritized the text that would have set up a elephant catapult rush and I really didn't do that I mean 75 BC is is not the best date to be starting that I really want to do that earlier on most immortal gains but the fact that these the AIs have been fairly nerfed this game simply because Boudicca and Gandhi have not been <laughs> good buddies at all, so they're not trading anything, and I haven't traded with them either. Uh, I've been trying to avoid doing that because I, there was really no reason to. Uh, I think I made one trade uh, with Boudicca for Alpha, I'm sorry, for Animal Husbandry and Hunting, but otherwise I really haven't traded with them. In, in a different game, um, with a different setup, maybe with more AI, AIs around, um, I might have done that. I'm not even certain what type of map this is, really. Um, Big Time does not generally reveal that information. I guess he wants us to be surprised. Right now it almost looks like it's some kind of continents map, but who knows. Uh, but anyway, um, as far as the scientist, I could have either bulbed uh, math or bulbed alpha and instead of teching alpha, and that way I would have probably been to I probably would have had construction and horseback riding quite a bit earlier than I do now. But still at this point, I think I am okay. Um, as far as long-term goal, I, I definitely want to take out Gandhi. Um, I have a feeling though that Boudicca is probably going to get a few of his cities and I also run the risk of her vassaling Gandhi, although she's not teched feudalism yet. So I really want to get on a Gandhi's case pretty soon. Long term, I want to get this land, uh, hopefully take on Boudicca as well, and really just take this whole continent. And then I can either look at ramping up for something like a space-type uh, victory, or once we meet the other IIs, we can look at...